Pakistan must be one of the most well-kept secrets in the world. To be honest, it's not at all what I expected to find. I am Marion, a conservationist. It's my passion. Places like this, wild and untouched, and what I wear should not destroy what I love. To conserve these places, we all need to live more sustainably. And I work towards that goal every day. I have always lived in Dunim. But I know it has taken a heavy toll on our planet. I needed to know if I'm making the right choices. And the concept of recycling Dunim appeared too good to be true. So, I came to Pakistan to see for myself. AFM was established in 2006, but my father has been in the textile business since the 60s. Today we are a vertically integrated denim manufacturing company. We as a company are on a mission to create denims using zero virgin cotton. Essentially what we do here is trace our steps backwards and follow the life cycle of a gene. And we give old discarded genes and cotton waste new life or many new lives here at our facility. I know 73% of our clothes end up in landfills. Some get a second chance here. For every kilogram recycled here, that's 1,200 liters saved by not growing cotton. In 2016, we set up our recycling project. Back then, sustainable fashion was just a dream. We actually source our jeans from US and Canada through the Salvation Army. Now we are one of the pioneers in recycling mill waste. All our articles have a minimum 5% recycled content with PCW, we can go up to 40%, and with PIW, we can go up to 100%. It was fascinating to see the recycling in action, and even better to see the certifications. This La Roche machine can recycle up to 15 tons of waste a day, saving our planet over 18 million liters of fresh water every day. My next stop was Max, the fabric man. Hi Marion, how are you? Nice to meet you here. Yeah, what are you holding here? Oh, this is our uh, jeans that we are just transforming it uh, into a recycled fiber. With our spinning process, we transform this fiber into a final yarn. With our skill and our knowledge, we are able to reproduce every single yarn with the same quality and characteristic, even with the recycled material. This is our indigo range when we are dyeing the cones that you saw before and then have this amazing color that you have in your jeans. How much water are you draining out here? We have our in-house device and we are claiming to save up to 30% water in the entire production. Weaving section. Noisy. Aside from that, it's a lot like home Recycling bins are everywhere. And I loved AFM Zero Bleach Blue. The showroom was my kind of place. I really like this one. We were able to achieve this effect, even if you have the same machine as all the other suppliers, but using our knowledge and our passion for the environment, we have created this article saving 30% of chemicals and cotton. Here we are talking about sustainability A to Z but you can feel that the article is, in any case, soft. This is one vintage-inspired construction. We can offer this one even with zero wastewater technology. 
How do you get this color? Because it's quite, I mean, it's really beautiful. We were able to match this kind of shade, blending recycled colored cotton without adding any indigo dye or other chemical on top of it. And recycling the cotton for us is the major mission because this kind of article can save really the, the environment. And that's what I care about. Less pesticides, less fertilizers, and more water for a healthier ecosystem. Towi took me from sustainable fabric to responsible fashion. So Max and I were, were like this because it doesn't make sense to have this amazing sustainable product if I'm just going to go and destroy it with some toxic wash. This jean, when you look at it, it has a vintage look to it. Okay, there's a lot of highs and lows, um, lots of grinding. You get this uh, nice orange peel effect. Super, super nice. The hand fill is also um, quite nice and soft, but the best part of it all is it's all sustainable. That's the thing I love actually, because you manage to combine sustainability and also the aesthetic of the jeans. It's important. It, yeah. I mean, to the consumer, which is us, we still want to look good. There's no bleach. All of this worn look, this is all laser. Laser for the whiskering, the brushing, all of these uh, ties. Normally you would throw it in the machine with stone washing. We cut that all out. So it's all laser, even the holes. See here, we check with the EIM scores and we are here, low impact. If anything comes here, okay, it's a so flat no. We are lucky that uh, we are a new setup, so it's not a situation where we are converting a conventional laundry. We have started out in a sustainable way, so you would not see this on any of our products at all because the setup is already put into place. And I fell in love with the natural dyes and the upcycled patchwork. A few of them have new lives with me. This is my surprise factor. What do you see when you look at that? Well, you have this feeling it has been bleached somehow. No? Nope. Nope, not at all. No bleach, no bleach alternative, no chemical, no stone washing. But how do you get this effect? I would not know machines. I'm still amazed at what that nano machine can do with one glass of water and natural dyes. And Farah took me to see what concerns me the most about denim, the wastewater. The primary focus for us has not just been sustainable products, but also sustainable operations. So that means including, you know, saving of water, recycling, as well as treatment. In fact, we are the first garment factories in Pakistan to have the PVA gel technology. It's a Japanese advanced ETP technology. The capability to recycle is about 60 to 70 percent of the water. So the future is all about, you know, zero liquid discharge. Nowadays, in our world, we start to be more and more aware about what's happening around us. And I really appreciate when companies actually do something for our environment, how eco-friendly they become. And I think it's very important, not only for us, but for the future generations. I could see my own passion for sustainability reflected in artistic fabric mills. So now I know I am making the right choices.